All righty, we're back at the Matt Cave, and this is one of our how-to videos. So this how-to video is all about unboxing the Adventure Sleuth Cleanup Kit. So this is one of our hottest selling items here because it's just a, a big need out there in this world today of cleaning up your cons. Have something that your kids can play with and, and run some dirt through inside in the garage in the winter on a snowy day. Doing some pay dirt and having fun. Just, just a great all around cleanup sluice all the way to the advanced prospector cleaning up in his tent or an RV there and something small enough and huge inside the RV or outside the RV just to have some fun. All right, so let's do it. Let's unbox this baby and I'll show you typically how to put this thing together. So this is a how-to video, how to assemble this thing. Doesn't take much, but there's assembly required on this thing. So let's get to it. I'm gonna go ahead, cut this baby open. Be careful, but usually we have plenty enough packing in there so you can unpack this thing. This is typically what you're gonna get. Open your box up. You're gonna end up getting some stickers, all right, to put on your RV or your truck or inside your garage, give to your kid. But these are coveted stickers, so dream mat stickers. All right, you're gonna get a packing slip. I'm gonna show you what you got. Adventure Sluice cleanup kit with 12 inch legs, one of them. And a good greeting always from Randy or one of us packing here. Merry Christmas, says Randy. All right, our shipping guru, Randy. I love this guy, he's he's awesome. So, you're gonna have some information sheet, just general information about Dream Mat. And uh, this is about Dream Mat here. Talks about all the technology of Dream Mat, that it isn't just snake oil, this is real technology built into a mat, and it ain't just one big sales pitch. We've grown because of this product really works. And then you'll have Karen for your Dream Mat, and usually have, here's a special little sticker. It says, avoid leaving 3D printed parts in car storage areas. So you guys that live down south or anywhere during the summer, leave this in your car. This is a 3D print is what these are. These aren't plastic molded. Um, uh, cost a ton of money to get parts like this plastic injected. Right now we're at a phase where eventually that'll happen, but right now we got these 3D parts and they're awesome. All right, let's uh, you got a hose. So this is your hose with your adapter that goes in the back of the, of the header. The, I'll set that aside. This is a 12 inch kit is what it is. So here you got the 12 inch legs and the support bar on the bottom. You end up getting your, this is your adventure sluice cleanup is what it is without the flare. So this slides into it. So there's the technology right there, your micro, your Cape D and your mini. All right. You're gonna come with your, your header. Your header there where your water flows out, your port there for end up putting your legs in, port for the water in the back, your bullseye bubble there. That pretty pretty awesome. You're gonna have the other one. This is the bottom piece, is what it is, where it slides through. Then you got your support rail, your two legs, and another bullseye bubble on the bottom to help support the bottom there. Right, you're going to have your hardware kit, has all your hardware in it. You're going to have your booties for the end of your legs so your legs won't slip around. You have your alligator clips for your 12 volt system. And then you end up having all the screws that we have put there, six of them. Nuts and thumb bolts there is what they are, thumb screws to put this together. So really all it is is putting these thumb screws together is what it is. And then we have our pump. You got a 500 pump on here. It says, do not connect 12 volt pump directly to battery charger or to battery connected to a battery charger. So it's just a matter of surging this and not blowing this pump up. It's made to go 12 volt is what it is. So you got to get a 12 volt battery for those that are out in an RV or place, or you got to get one of these adapter power kits is what they are. We can plug this thing right into an outlet into your garage. This is what I, prefer 
Then you can just get adapter. You can turn this baby up and down and regulate the flow. This thing works great. These are available on our site too. We will be making these kits where these available with it too. That'll be coming out right after Christmas, but that's what I would suggest that you would do. And then you can end up wiring your pump with this adapter right here that plugs into that adapter. So that's that's the cat's meow, that's what we suggest. But this kit right here, we'll show you how to hook up the alligator clips with it. And then we'll show you how to hook up the actual 12 volt power converter is what we'll do. All right, let's get to it. Let's put this thing together. Some things that you need to put it together. You need a pair of either wire dikes is what you need. There's a new set, there's an old set. Just gotta end up stripping the lines a little bit more is what you do. And then you gotta crimp it is what you gotta do. So let's go ahead and put the bolts and stuff to this together real quick. And we'll get, get rocking and rolling. Gotta cut the plastic off here. From the legs, I was cut away from you. So here's our leg, our sport piece is what that is. Let's go ahead and empty out our hardware. All right. We've got our booties that fit on the bottom. We'll set those aside. And then we have all uh, all right, so what you got is you got these screws here, thumb screws with a little nut, square nut on it. This is pretty simple. This is the fun part and everything isn't always easy in life. This is a simple little thing to put together inside of these um, uh, leg holders here. We've reinforced these things really good is what we've had. And you end up sliding these in is what you end up doing. And put it on the side, slide these little nuts in there. And then you're gonna end up putting your leg through to help hold that nut in place. And you end up screwing this nut into the side here, just like that. Tighten it up, loosen it up. All right, one down, six, five to go. All done. See, they're all connected. One, two, three. Cool beans. All right. That's all put together. That didn't take too long. I don't know, four or five minutes, got it all put together. And now we'll end up hooking up the pump, and putting that together. So then what you end up doing is you got the pump and this uh, fitting is made to fit right into the back right here is what it is. So it fits pretty snug, just right into the back there. So you just got to put it in there. It might leak just a hair, but it's pretty snug fit is what it is. You could put a light layer, if you can leave it on there, a light layer of silicone around that. Pop it in there and it won't leak. All right. You're going to notice on the wiring, it's going to have a yellow thing saying connect to positive only. So that means brown is to positive, black is to negative then is what it means. Pump only comes with this splice, about a, I don't know, quarter inch. Not quite as long as what you need it. So what you can do with a pair of uh, um, dikes that you have here, wire strippers as you call them. I usually put it on about the 14, number 14 wires, about what it is. 
need to cut off to about a total of about a half inch total or so is what you end up needing to do so the other side all right so after you got this two ends stripped here about a half inch best thing to do is just to fold over the end over the ends like this just fold it over on the ends fold this over like I said brown is positive it says so you got the positive one so you're gonna know what to do is just put this positive piece right here on this end over the end like that and then you can slide this this boot down this boot will go back up over it after you crimp it is what it'll do so what it is is you're gonna push this up in there you can see it now you have it crimped over like that you see so you're gonna push this up in there so the wire it's crimped over the top like that. Then you need to crimp this right here. You can either do it with a pair of crimpers. Um, uh, this wire stripper right here can do it. You can do it on the end of this wire stripper. You can just grab these ends right here and just crimp it really tight. It doesn't take too much to hold this down. You're not going to be putting a ton of pressure on it. So you can just crimp it down. And then you can push this red thing cover back over the top. Pretty simple. So repeat that, go over to the negative side, slide this over, slide that off the end right there, and you can just push this in there so it's just about sticking through right there, you can see, uh, about right there, and then you can crimp it down. Push that back over the top. Voila, you have it done. That's what you got. So that's crimping that thing for an actual, what we're doing is for a 12 volt battery. That's why I did that. That's for a 12 volt battery that you can crimp that onto the top and then you can crimp this and put this onto the 12 volt terminal is what you can. All right.